Okay, Shalom, Shalom, Kwame Asha'ala, Kuhuloyim La, Yehawa, Bahashim, Yahweshai, Bahashim, Rekach Badash, Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, and that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth, and just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwath that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweshai, to the best of their ability. This is Yachan on the Waf, just coming at you with another quick lesson. Friends, it's edifying by the Spirit, and um, the least of the flocks should draw them out, man. You know, uh, supposedly some arrows was shot over into Golan Heights, Israel, uh, you know, deleting, I think, like 11 people or so. But let me get this scripture real quick. Um, Jeremiah 4 and 20. Therefore, hear the counsel of Yahweh that he hath taken against Edom. And that's the biblical name for the so-called white race. And the top tribe of the so-called white race is the, um, the Amalekites that's over there in that land. They're all Edomites. And his purpose that he hath purposed against the inhabitants of Teman. Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. Surely he shall make their habitation desolate with them. So they're supposedly the least of the flock. If you notice, they're always saying, well, you know, we're, we're only 2% of the population. You know, we're the smallest uh, nation of people on the planet. But the scripture says that the Israelites will be innumerable, like the sand of the sea, like the stars of heaven. So we know that those are not the people that that's what they're claiming, see? That prophecy doesn't match up. That prophecy doesn't fit. And also, with all this bombing that's going on over there, they're supposed to be at peace and in, 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 um, in, in, in safety since they supposedly, you know, um, have fulfilled this prophecy of the children going back to Israel. You know, it, it should be peace on earth. It shouldn't even be no wars. You know, but let's, let's play one of these videos. I'm going to play this one right here. To the Middle East now, and what one U.S. official tells CBS News has been a day of almost all-out war between Israel and Hezbollah. At least 10 young people and children were killed when a rocket from Lebanon hit a soccer field in the Israeli-controlled Golan Heights. And Israel struck a school in Gaza, killing at least 30 Palestinians. CBS's Deborah Pata reports tonight from Jerusalem. There are fears of a new front opening up along the Lebanese border after that rocket attack on the Israeli-controlled Golan Heights. The Israel Defense Force has blamed the Iranian-backed Hezbollah, who have denied any responsibility. Bueno, bueno. The rocket slammed into this field where a game of soccer was being played. Spectators rushed to help the injured, those killed, mostly children and teens. We will finish our assessments and we will act. Israel and Hezbollah have been trading almost daily fire along the Lebanese border. But this attack could significantly escalate the possibility of an all-out war there. And it comes as the Israeli military is already stretched from nearly 10 months of fighting in Gaza, its longest war ever. Today, Israel issued new evacuation orders in an area in Khan Yunus, designated a humanitarian safe zone, once again upending the lives of displaced Palestinians who have already fled multiple times. There were no warnings when the Israeli military struck a school sheltering civilians in central Gaza today. I can't find my daughter, sobbed this panic-stricken woman. The IDF says it was a Hamas command center, but there were mostly women and children among the more than 30 killed. We were just sitting, playing happily with this traumatized young boy. The reality on the ground in Gaza is starkly at odds with Benjamin Netanyahu's boast this week in the U.S. that his military took unprecedented steps to protect civilians. While there was applause for his speech in Congress, not many were cheering him back home. For desperate hostage families, a deal appears to be little more than a mirage right now. Netanyahu was still in the U.S. when the attack along the Lebanese border happened. He's been briefed, and Nancy, he's moved up his return to Israel. Deborah Pata in Jerusalem. Okay, so you already know. Because <laughs> you already, think about the talk he's about to have before he leave. You know, think about the talks he's had since he's been here. Right? So, again, the scripture, let me start the scripture back from the top. Jeremiah 49 and 20. 
Therefore hear the counsel of the Lord Yahweh that he met that he had taken against Edom and his purposes that he hath purposed against the inhabitants of Teman. Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. Surely he shall make their habitations desolate with them. So America's uh, uh, habitation is going to be desolate right along with theirs, man, because they're going to draw them into that shit. Imagine what this guy's talking about while he's here. Imagine the, the, the talks that they had while he was here making demands. Because really, he, he wasn't asking for stuff. He's pretty much overall making demands. You know? Well, let's get another one. Um, Let's go to, uh, the you know, one of the prophecies that should be happening since they're in the land. Since they're supposedly the holy people. Why is all this stuff going on? Why is it that here I am, a so-called black man in America, my taxpayers' money is going towards people in a whole other region, six, seven, th whatever amount of miles away, and it has absolutely nothing to do with me. <laughs> you know, we're starting to see the Lord is starting to show who these people are and and who they aren't. I I'll just keep it that way. These people are not the the, the children of Israel, man. They're Edomites. They come from Abraham, Isaac, and e in Edom. Esau. Isaiah chapter 60. Let's just jump straight to the point. Verse 18. It says, Violence shall no more be heard in thy land, wasting nor destruction within thy borders, but thou shalt call thy wall salvation and thy gates praise. So what's going on with these wars over here? How the hell is somebody able to shoot a missile into your, your establishment or your, your, your city and kill children on a soccer field when you're supposed to be fulfilling the, pro the prophecies of being back there and, and the world should be at peace? Your wall should be, uh, 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 there is, there's no way there should be. You think when the Lord comes and he sets up his kingdom, there's going to be people that's going to be shooting rockets into Israel? Are you fucking crazy, bro? And this is the, the, the very first verse right here. Isaiah 60 and 1, it says, Arise, shine, for thy light is come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people. But the Lord shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. See? Verse 3, it says, And the Gentiles shall come to thy light, and the kings to the brightness of thy rising. Why isn't that happening? You got people's right, right, right around you that's not even coming to you and and and, and praising you or, or bowing to you like they're supposed to be doing. It says, "Lift up thy eyes round about and see all they gather th themselves together. They come to they they come to thee. Thy sons shall come from afar, and thy daughter shall be nursed at thy side. Then thou shalt see and flow together, and thine heart shall fear." And be enlarged because the abundance of the sea shall be converted unto thee. The forces of the Gentiles shall come unto thee. See? And the NLT over here says, Your eyes will shine, and your heart will thrill with joy. For merchants from around the world will come to you. They will bring you the wealth of many lands. Why isn't that happening? Here you go over here. You know, your taxpayer, my money coming out of my check every week and taxes to be sent to you. No one is coming, you know, and, and willingly bringing their wealth um, to, to, to you at all. You know what I'm saying? Verse 6, it says, Vast um, caravans of camels will converge on you, the camels of Median and Epha, the people of Sheba, and will bring gold and frankincense and will come worshiping the Lord. Why isn't that happening over there? Hell, y'all not even worshiping the Lord. Those people over there, man, they, they not worshiping the Lord, man. Come on, bro. They secular as hell. It says, the flocks of Kadar will be given to you, and the rams of Nabiah will be brought for, my, brought for my altars. I will accept their offerings, and I will make my temple glorious. And what do I see flying like clouds to Israel, like doves to their nests? They are the ships from the ends of the earth, from lands that trust in me. Led by the great ships of Tarshish, they are bringing the people of Israel home from far away, carrying their silver and gold. They will honor the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, for he has filled you with splendor. And that's not happening, man. It says foreigners will come to rebuild your towns. Ain't no Y'all don't even let no foreigners in there. What foreigners is in there rebuilding your town? And their kings will serve you. These kings don't like you. <laughs> they bombing you. It says, for though I have destroyed you in my anger, I will now have mercy on you through my grace. Your gates will stay open day and night. 
Come on, bro. To receive the, the wealth of many lands. The kings of the world will be led as captives in victory, in a victory procession. Where, did, where are these kings at? You can't even handle the, the couple of people around you. Let's own some kings that's, you know, um, um, what, 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 uh, uh, you know, uh, Russian president is coming or the Chinese president is coming or, you know, any of these people coming to, to, to bow before you. No, that's not happening, bro. They, they ready to bomb your ass. It says, for the nations that refuse to serve you will be destroyed. So, what's going on here? Because these people are refusing to, to, um, to serve you. So, why aren't they being destroyed? You have been there 75 years. See? So, I just wanted to just touch on that real quick, man. Again, verse 18 right here. It says, um, violence will, will disappear from your land. The desolation and destruction of war will end. Salvation will surround you like walls, like like city walls. And praise will be upon the lips of all who enter there. Y'all won't even let nobody enter there. It says violence will disappear from your land. Why is it why is it why is it bombs going why are bombs going off in your land if there's supposed to be no violence in your land? That that's crazy, bro. The facts are locked here. Let me see something real quick. Shit. And you know that that's entitled the future glory of Israel. So, I mean, it is what it is, man. We we understand what's going on, but this right here is only going to escalate. Um, um, all the other nations are going to get involved. This is going to end up um, um rounding off to uh the third woe. And so, before the third woe, prophetically, the um MOTB got to come through. It's that uh revelation. Lock you bear with me here real quick here. Yeah, 14. Revelation 11 and 14. And it reads, The second woe is past, and behold, the third woe cometh quickly. This is what's about to happen. The third woe is coming quickly. Look, you, you have to really realize and, 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 and pay attention. That's why the Lord said to watch and pray, to measure thou the time diligently. Um, matter of fact, let's go to Matthew 24. Verse 3, it says, And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? Right? So this is what the disciples are asking. Okay? So now, this is uh, what the Lord said. One of the things that he said. I'm just going to jump straight to the point. Verse 6, it says, And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrow. So these things are happening. And it's mad pestilence and famines that's going on over in that area as well as far as the Gazans. You know, the people that's in the Gaza Strip or whatever, you know, those Palestinians, they're going through it. they dying from diseases because there's no running water. Um, there's a lot of, um, you know, uh, just... When you can't cleanse yourself, that breeds disease. When you have wounds, open wounds, flesh dangling, limbs being knocked off and all those different things, that eventually, um, um, you know, brings forth um, 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 disease. And if it's not dealt with or cleansed, then that brings on pretty much a, 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 a somewhat of a pandemic where it can be spread to other people. Right? So that's already happening. And then they don't have no food. Because Esau, I mean, yeah, Esau eat him. He's not letting no food in there. He's not opening no gates. He's not letting no um, um, transport come through there, man. He's just, you know, wrecking shop. Now he's trying to fight against um, a whole other end. This is a whole secondary people that he, he's they're trying to fight over there now. Hezbollah, or the same group, but it's a different, um, you know, little little entity of it. And they've been fighting for like 10 months straight. Their economy is going to shit. You, how you got a working economy and, and, and you got the possibility of a bomb landing on, on your damn McDonald's or your Burger King or whatever the case may be. Or your, you know, your whatever business they may have, a damn coffee shop. Then, you know, half of the community over there don't even work anyway. 
those those Orthodox Jews, they don't work. They get stipends. So they trying to um um put them them motherfuckers um um in the in the war. They over there protesting. Those men, <laughs> they like no. We just study the Bible. But why don't you, you know, you don't love your nation enough to get up and go and fight for them? But they'll expect you Americans to be drafted. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, y'all better wake y'all asses up. Don't join this man's military. Because they're going to put y'all asses on the front line first. When you got orthodox men over there that won't put down the scriptures, they won't put down the Bible. You, hey, you, you've been studying long enough where the Bible should be within you. The scriptures the, 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 should be in you. That's why, the, the, you know, when the scripture says a wisdom and, and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, they should, the, should they study him from birth. You think that, okay, you'll be able to pick up arms and go and fight for your nation. Uh-uh. Taxpayers' monies from the U.S. is being sent there to, to take care of these people, man. So that's falling apart for them. See all that division? That's why the scripture talks about um, also in Matthew 12 and 24. Those divisions that's happening over there. And just throughout Esau's system in general. Because that guy, not, not, a, not a Jew, BB, he came here. He's still here. And it's all a, a, a separation, man. There's no one. Is These Americans, these so-called white people in America don't want their money going to Israel. They don't want nothing to do with Israel. They don't want to fight for Israel. They're not trying to go to war for Israel. They, they, but these politicians are the ones that's pushing it. See, the politicians are separated from the people because they're not doing what they're supposed to be doing for the people. They're supposed to be elected by the people and working for the people. But they're going off in there and they're being bought by fucking other nations, man. They're not helping their own citizens. And now the citizens are starting to see that. So that's where you get uproars of the people from. That's where you get sedition of men. That's where you get civil war from. And matter of fact, this um, this Matthew 12 and, and um, 25, in the NOT, it actually mentions civil war. But I'm going to read it in the KJV first. It says, And Yahweh knew their thoughts and said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation. In every city, your house divided against itself shall not stand. See? And if Satan casts out Satan, he is divided against himself. How shall then his kingdom stand? So with all that separation, there's no way of winning. You got a whole bunch of back and forth going. It's taking you a year to make a decision on one little simple thing that you should be able to decide on within minutes. <laughs> you know? So it's a lot of separation that's going on, man, and that goes from NATO to to the EU to um um you know all these allies of America. No one can get along. Like I said again, when it comes to a decision, it, it it's got to go through too many branches and through too many people. And by the time it gets to the 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 the, the head of whoever's supposed to make the final decision, it's a damn year that went by, two years, three years that went by for simple things that you should be able to calculate and put together real quick. So, hey, this this is where we at, man. You know, this is where we're at. And so, if if this is that close, then imagine how close the MOTB is, the market of beauty and the beast, right? Imagine that. And here's another one. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, another little video here. Hold on, was that the same one? So At least ten people were killed in northern Israel this evening when a rocket fired from Lebanon hit a. Miss Lockyer, uh, she pretty much gonna about say the same thing, but they did. Soccer field in the Druze town of Mus. Let me get to the point of this little interview with this guy. Let's see here. She's pretty much saying the same thing. Uh, I'm not sure what happened. Not launch rockets toward the Druze community. Top Israeli officials are currently. Uh, okay. Well, it's loading up, so. I just wanted to get a little bit of this interview with this guy right here. Holding a situational assessment to determine a response against Hezbollah. 
Well, for more on this developing story, I want to go to uh, retired Colonel Dr. Jacques Naria, former deputy head of assessment for Israeli military intelligence. Dr. Naria, thank you for being with us as always. These images in the north coming out of that soccer field, they are horrible to look at. So I want to hear your analysis of the situation that at this moment it is still evolving. Okay, so they're going to always lean their narrative towards, you know, them, of course, you know. Because she might be a small hat. Of course, he is a small hat. Now, when I look, when I watch Euro News, all I'm seeing is uh, injured from um, the Palestinians. Like, I'm talking about really, like, fucking... They be showing some graphic images, man. You might see a leg gone. As a matter of fact, they, 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 they cast across the screen um, graphic images, you know, before they actually start to show it. So, you will see on the Palestinian side where, no, it's people getting fucked up. Now, on when I seen a video of this, um, you know, soccer field... They wasn't showing people like that. You know, I did see some people on the ground, but they wasn't showing like, you know, to, you know. But anyway, I mean, you know, that death is death, man, when it comes to children. But how did they retaliate? How did Israel retaliate? They retaliated by hitting a damn school. <laughs> While the, the one guy, he was talking about, oh, yeah, and then, you know, they, you know, uh, uh, a horrible, heinous acts against children. And then you bomb a damn school with children in it. So it's like it's hypocritical of these people, man. Anyway, I'm just going to play a little bit more and I'm going to end out. Well, you know, since the beginning of this war, we were looking for who would be the one that would commit the error or I'd say the, the, that would commit the miscalculation that would bring the, the, both parties into an escalation and finally a, a total confrontation. And it seems that this error has been committed by Hezbollah. Now, the, the, the Hezbollah is trying to, the, to say that the, it's not, I mean, it's... See, this is going to be, this is all pro-Israel hookup. You know, it's going to always be that way, pretty much. Overall, it's going to be like that with all the news networks. Because we, you know, we understand who runs these networks. Now, you can scroll through YouTube and, and get some alternative um, news and stuff like that as well. You know, I kind of be watching a couple of different channels on the Roku TV. So you can get different, um, you know, aspects of what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Because when you look at channels like this right here, they're going to lean more towards their people. They're not going to give you no... Um, Matter of fact, I don't even think this video right here, it even shows you anything that was going on in Palestine like the other videos did. It might, but I, I don't think so. But anyway, I mean, you know, I don't want to go too far off into this. I just seen this. It was like breaking news. It is breaking news. It happened a few hours ago. But this is um, top-notch um, prophecy, though. We can't ignore these types of talks. We can't ignore these, kind of, these kinds of stories because... Um, Matter of fact, uh, Salakia. Just trying to get this, um, get the apocrypha real quick. Salakia, bear with me here. I don't even think this, uh, I'm trying to, I'm doing this window and window hookup, so, it's really don't matter. Oh, no, it does, it does it. But anyway, I mean, I just wanted to grab this in the apocrypha anyway. Um, well, I can get this right here since I'm here. Ecclesiastes 25 and 7, there be nine things which I have judged in my heart to be happy, and the tenth I will utter with my tongue. A man that hath joy of his children, and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy. And that's what we're witnessing. We're, we're witnessing the fall of our enemy. See, with all this, this Trump assassination shit, Joe Biden dropping out of the, the race, Kamala stepping into place, um... All these different squirmishes that's going on. All these different. See, the Lord is working the work right now. And he's working it fast, too. He's working it real fast. Because like two weeks or so back, um, the Apostle Gabar, he done a lesson saying, you know, hey, start to pray for the downfall of America. Start to bring curses upon this place. And we've been doing it. And look at what all these things that's happened within the past two to three weeks. 
So it's about to be a lot of gruesome things that's about to happen too as well. But we're, we're watching the, the fall of our enemy. See, it's a lot of stuff that's going on from, from people jumping off damn rooftops, you know, to uh, 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 people uh, uh, doing all manner of deletions, you know. It's, I mean, it's, it's so much going on. So the, this place is spiraling out of control. It's not going to come back. It's not going to be a comeback. They keep talking about make America great again or build back better and do all these things. And you have an epidemic of fucking um, school shootings. Uh, 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 mass shootings, uh, uh, rose rage shootings, overdoses, uh, suicides. You know, it's a lot going on, man. A lot of um animal killings. Damn, um, people getting mauled up by bears, their own pets. Damn, wolves and 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 lions and, you know. So the spirits of vengeance are out here strong, man. So now you got this uptick of civil war, civil war, civil war. And you already got uproars of people uh, of the people in um, insurrections in all these other nations. See, those other nations, they really don't have no time for America like that because they're trying to situate their own citizens that's burning down the city. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's a lot going on out here, man. But this was uh, the one that I wanted to get. Um, Ecclesiastes 5 and 15. It says, be not ignorant of anything in a great matter or small. So you're not supposed to be ignorant in, in things like this right here. This is major, though. It may seem small, but this is a major. Ain't no telling what, what, what what's going to come out of this. And with this man being here, we don't know what demands that he got. Because he was, you know, here demanding shit. And then you got all these, these people standing up. Nothing but a bunch of damn so-called white people standing up in Congress uh, clapping and shit. Trump got his say in the Israeli thing. Of course, Kamala Harris, she, her her husband is an Israeli. Her stepdaughter is an Israeli. And she she would be, if she were to win, look, man. Anyway, just know why Joe Biden is there for these next four months before he go ahead and cash on out. They're going to cash on out on America. They're going to get a lot more money. They're going to get a lot more military um um ammunition you and probably get uh, uh hell never know because they 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 gonna start to get the drafting people probably send a, a bunch of you pants sagging ass negroes over there man to stand on the front line and die for their cause so y'all better wake the hell up man out here man let's play a little more not his responsibility somebody somebody else did it but according to the sources of the army it's 100 percent the hezbollah the hezbollah work it's part of the 100 and so see when you see stuff like this because they saying they didn't do it they didn't bomb the soccer field but we know that esau edom the so-called white man is notorious for false flags that goes for any of these countries They'll look at them like collateral damage. It's for the country. It's for the greater good. And they'll knock off as many children as need need be to get the things that they need. Think about this. They're going to run this. They're going to spin this story. Look at these babies that got killed. They were just playing soccer on a Saturday. Man, they're going to they gonna get all kinds of money from the U.S. They're going to get all kinds of um, ammunition and, 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 and whatever it is that they need and aid and whatever, man. They're going to get it all. In the meanwhile, America's still going to be ran into the ground. They out here talking, talking about damn job growth and how inflation is going down. Man, look, man, prices of none of this shit is going down. The gas has been, been still the same. Gas only been fluctuating about 5 to 10 cents maybe possibly where I'm at. It hasn't gone under $3 in I don't know how long. Or at least, you know, that's pretty expensive for where I'm at. So, I, you know, I know out west... You know, that, that, you know, that's, you know, would be nothing, but it would be the same as far as economy wise. You know, when you're putting um, economies together, so to speak, it's still out of pocket, um, expensive. You know. Because maybe somewhere like California could be at about five and some change or something like that. So that would be the equivalent of it being here at three forty, three fifty, three seventy, three eighty, almost four dollars a gallon. Gas hasn't gone down. That shit ain't, ain't, it's been stagnant and, and stuck in the same spot for, for about a year straight now. The grocery's not going down. 
these people that have gone up on their prices, they not they not got not about to go back down even if inflation goes down. They're going to continue on getting money as best they can because they're fucking greedy as hell. So people are stressed. People are not paying car notes no more. People are behind on rent. People are behind on the electric bill, the water bill. The only only bill that people are paying surprisingly or not surprisingly is their damn cell phone bill. That's one thing that these these people are not gonna about to let go off. They'll let anything go. They'll go fucking homeless before they let that phone go off. Those are the only sure bills that's getting paid right now is a cell phone bill. And it, it and that's only really because these these cell phone um and, um providers will shut your shit off. If, if, if these people had an opportunity to run game on a phone company for about two, three months without a payment, they'll be doing that right now, too. Trust me. So you got to realize people out here need daycare. Daycare is, is, is people need a whole nother job. Both parents need a second job to pay for daycare. If you got a, a secondary parent in the home, that's if you got one of those and that's becoming rare. We ain't going to even talk about other bills man god forbid your car break now a lot of people don't have no money set to the side in case they um something happened to the car if something just out of the blue were to happen people live in check paycheck to paycheck in this place man so everything is falling so again they're sending all the taxpayers money over here to places like this and people getting pretty fucking sick of the government man that's where you're going to have those uproars of the people. Matter of fact, we in the apocalypse for now. Um, let's go to second address. I'm going to end out here in a sec here. I've seen that and I'm like, yep. Okay, all right, bet. That's what's up. Another little step up in the game. We pray for these things. That's another step up in the game, man. Kids being killed on the soccer field in, in Israel. Come on, man. That right there is about to, a hey, shit about to get grimy. Second Ezra uh, 15, I'm going to start at verse 14. Let me highlight all this real quick. Okay, it says, um, verse 14, it says, Woe to, woe to the world and them that dwell in the, therein. For the swore and their destruction draw of nigh, and one people shall stand up to fight against another, and swords in their hands. This is going to be, be something that's going on throughout the earth, man, especially here in these Americas, though. That Egyptian against the Egyptian scripture is going to come to pass soon. That's civil war, man. It says, for there shall be sedition among men, and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings, nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. So it's going to come a point where these citizens are going to be like, man, fuck y'all, bro. We've, we've trusted in you long enough. You are no longer in power. <laughs> That's the way that they're going to be looking at this thing. And, and oh my, let Kamala win this damn election, man. And they might throw her ass up. Because it's not like, you know, your votes matter anyway. If they select, if these upper echelon, these, these, these top people select her. Because that's what it is. It's all a selection. If they select her. It's going to go into full-blown chaos, man. It says, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. That's going to come. They've done that with COVID-19. You can kind of see how they, they was kind of rolling with that for a second. You know what I'm saying? Well, with certain places, you just going to go. But guess what? If a civil war start or anything break out like that, they're going to block off roadways. They're going to block off cities. They're going to have people in zones. National Guard going to be out. Army going to be out. Marine, whoever the fuck, they're going to be out. And you're not going to just be out here traveling. And it's not going to be safe like that anyway. You ain't going to just be jumping in your F-150 or your, your, your you know, Ram truck and just be out here unless you got a damn Gatling gun on the back of that bitch damn near. Okay, it says... For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. See? Because of their pride. That's why it's coming. Because Esau is prideful as hell. These so-called white people, man, that, that, hey, they, they, hold, hey, they are saturated in pride. They know nothing other than to be pride. There's no humbleness about them at all. 
It says a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. And we can clearly see how that so-called white man went into that um, so-called black lady's house and, 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 you know, deleted her. And then told the, um, his, his partner, don't even render help because, I, you know, I, I shot her di directly in the face. Trust me, she's not making it. Straight savage with no remorse, right? It says a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. So just imagine when there is no 911. But shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of lack of bread and for great tribulation. See, that food is going to set shit off. But that great tribulation, that's going to be something altogether different, man. Because it's going to be people just not going to have no rule at all. It's just people just going to, they already carnal as hell. They already, um, you know, fleshly. They live by the body. And they get a kick out of seeing weirdo shit. So that's gonna be a good. That's gonna be a thing where they they're gonna fit right in. And all that's gonna be coming from little skirmishes like this right here, because the people are gonna get sick and tired of other countries being taken care of. They already sick of it. Other counties are being taken care of. Or, I mean, other countries are being taken care of with your money, and your county is not even being taken care of. Your 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 state or your city or your community, your group. But they taking tax money from you and they send it to other countries, making sure that they're just perfectly fine while you suffer. While in the meanwhile talking about how you're the greatest country in the world and that you're that that we are the 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 the, the civilization that helps. The hell out of here, man. Here you go, you got assassination attempts on <laughs> through, man. So we'll see how this work out. We'll see how this work out. But this man, he, he who knows, while he was here. Because that, that guy, BB, man, hey, they, they, they don't like BB much, man. They don't like BB. They, they, hey, they don't like BB out here. Man, anyway. I'm sitting here, you know, this thing playing in the backdrop with Trump, the assassination. They talking about who dropped the ball. Like even that shit is crazy. So it's a lot going on. It's a lot of um false well, I can't say false flags right off. I won't say it like that, but we know what it is, you know. I you know. It's distractions, I'll put it that way. A lot of distractions, that's the word I wanted to use, are going on and people are not paying attention to what's really happening in the backdrop. You know? What's happening in the backdrop is that MOTB, that market of beauty and a beast. That's the main thing that they're not touching on. That's see when you don't hear anything about that that type of stuff for for a minute, you gotta really search search for. It. They in the backdrop um um really to implement that market of beauty and the beast man. They ready to implant people and they're gonna they're gonna do it out of chaos. I I believe that you know what I'm saying. They're gonna have to cause some type of chaos and have people chaotic, and and, and to make it fucked up out here and then they're gonna bring in rule. Or to handle the situation, we're gonna bring in rule, you know, the and people a lot of people are gonna go for it. But a lot of people are not, you know. So I'm gonna end out there, man. I just wanted to touch on this real quick. I pray that the lesson was edifying. With that, Kwamyasola, Nababa Ball.